Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you argument code, which is actually a IDE for coding that no, no many people are talking about, or actually almost nobody, but I hear many people on YouTube saying that this is the best AI coding tool, better than Cursor, because because it understands better the context of the code this is our comment code um i want to just to show you this a little bit because this is something you can install in your ide visual studio code and you can simply install it going to the extension and going to augment uh, when you installed it like going here clicking install which you already did you will have an icon which is this one and uh, uh, you will have 14 days trial for using it and then you can buy a subscription for 50 euro with 3000 or 6000 messages per month but what was actually uh, something I was, I was getting impressed is uh, uh, how people say that it's better than cursor which is a big statement so uh, I wanted just to talk about it. So you can install it both to for Visual Studio Code and IntelliJ. Uh, you can see the video that shows exactly a bit uh, what uh, it it does. Let's skip to the to the source just to understand that it it can change the files automatically. You have the agent mode. You have the the same functions like cursor and it can work totally autonomously um, you can see that it makes the changes in real time and uh, um, you can also set up uh, a specific uh, uh, how you want it to work but uh, let's go and see a little bit the benchmark which is compared to something probably to older uh, versions, even though I think this has been improved already and is not up to date. Mm. But uh, uh, it is, uh, let's use it probably, consider you can use a remote agent to, to run uh, this on the cloud, the agent on the cloud, this should save you some money when you run uh, API calls. I'm using into my dating app, which I'm mentioning often, I'm building, and I asked to create a badge insertion between users so that people can show their interest to other people. And uh, um, as you can see, I, I'm using the trial version and uh, I it is already building and changing 14 files and continuing to do all it seems like it finished um, what i did is just to add this prompt which i mentioned and it started just building uh, the best thing to do is to create a branch and then to probably um i, I worked right away in uh, the, the master which is not a good good thing good uh, practice to do so uh, i will take this risk for now then change and fix it later but i keep it all and let's see if uh, it what it said it seems it found an issue with let's just make it work until the end then we will check the result so let's keep the result and then i will run the application to see if there are errors and if i can see this function working if it, if it does actually it will be kind of impressive because it means that uh, uh, it builds something so complex autonomously when in an app that actually is quite big right now it's quite big and complex right now so um let's run let's wait to finish its work 
let's accept and then let's run the environment npm run dev so let's see you in, in a bit and just double check this is just to see and evaluate if you should or wish to use augment code but by the way just to give you panoramic you can use the chat mode the agent mode and the remote agent run an agent in the cloud to lighten your your uh, uh, i believe uh, the cost and uh, uh, okay it run the command lbx space db push let's it does automatically everything because we said so we're taking this risk I will not push the code in, uh, in case it doesn't work, so that uh, all uh, is fine. Um, but uh, I wanted to say also that you have settings. In the settings, you can set command script that you want to add, uh, connection to, to specific tools that, that uh, are uh, created for you outside the box. Uh, user guidelines that could be probably the, the um, directory uh, the rule file the role file the rule file sorry that you want to give to here the context which, which is famous for basically it seems very understanding very well where it should fix the code and uh, etc so uh, you see it has access to mcp and to the terminal you can select which which type of terminal to use um and that's it let's see how it worked just to let you know those are the pricing points at zero euro uh, in the beginning you you get 50 user messages additional user messages 30 dollars to get to 300 to 300 okay so 50 for free um the con you have a context engine you have everything but not the team management and, and the eye training is allowed um 50 dollars per month you get 600 user messages um you get uh, you can continue you have surplus of 30 paying 30 dollars so another 30, 300 messages context and you get everything but also the team management and the more you go further the more uh, you calls you you will have by the way you have 14 days free trial which is our case with 600 messages to ai and uh, okay in, in in our case we are not getting doing any training to the ai so let's have a look to what it built it already ran the environment by itself without uh, um autonomously basically um we want to see now how it is uh, working so let's wait that it loads okay uh, we can see the application it was working like before so what i want to check is if i can somehow add a user intent and and a specific tag this is a mocked user so i think i can test it let's see if i can tag my own user Okay, can find myself. Digital twin icebreaker get suggestion. I can see the avatar. Start shop, get suggestion. Interesting. It's even searching for the icebreaker so you can uh, uh, see what it could be advised. Okay, interesting. <laughs> okay, this is something that can be improved. 
but it is an interesting feature. Um, and uh, we'll see in a bit if we fix the, the issue. Okay, after some trial and error, I found out that uh, uh, argument code actually couldn't fix the issue I asked to fix, which make me think that actually uh, I disagree with another YouTuber that said that actually argument code is better than Cursor and uh, other, well, other uh, competitors. I believe that GitHub Copilot right now is the best for, for, for this. So what I will do, I will fix with GitHub Copilot and compare it. So we'll let you know if uh, to confirm if uh, my belief is correct. So I have, after having used Google, GitHub Copilot, I actually solved the problem much easier than it was with the argument code. Um, I, I should not hide that I've been working for a while to fix uh, uh, the issue, but I did in the end. Um, the application is fully working. Um, if I run it, unless the server, okay, uh, is fully working. I can check the user, which before couldn't be found. Um, and that's it. Just to just this to say that GitHub Copilot, in my opinion, is much much better right now than augmented code. Hope this video was useful. If it did, like, subscribe, comment the video, support the channel, and see you in the next one.